the biggest thing missing for small businesses in their marketing is proof. You simply don't have the time to sit and write and design case studies. But here's the thing, they're essential for actually getting you new clients. It's something I've struggled with in the past, and so I built myself a custom GPT and Gamma workflow that creates these professional case studies in seconds. This system created all of these branded, professional, client-ready case studies in a matter of seconds, so I barely even have to think about this anymore. And today, I'm going to show you how you can build your own custom GPT and run this system for yourself. One thing you'll need before we get right into this is my mega prompt chest. It holds all the prompts and instructions that we use in this video. For example, you can drop down to my case studies area of this template, and it's got everything you need that I'm using in this video as we go along. To kick things off, we're going to need to create some assets that we can rely on throughout this process. So I want you to open up a fresh chat GPT window, jump back into the mega prompt chest here and go to what I call my case study template generator. You're going to grab this prompt here and I'll read it to you in a second and pop it straight into the window. But essentially, you're a case study creation assistant. Your task, create a reusable case study template for my industry. Template must include clear section headers, bullet points, example notes for what information should go in each section. It gives us the structure of how we like our templates and some rules to follow. Plus, at the bottom here, you'll see it says insert your industry here. So we're actually going to give it some context about what it is. You can put as little or as much in here as you want. I'm just going to put in here. I'm an SEO consultant, as we might as well make this for my business, but you can tailor all of this to whatever it is you want to create case studies for. So we'll just run that prompt and it's going to go and create our template for us. You can see here it's given us some examples, the background, the solution, the problem, all of that stuff, um, but tailored to my industry. So you can see the solution is usually going to be strategy and research, technical content and off page stuff, the three core elements of SEO. So it's kind of tailored it to what you would expect for my industry in a case study. Now, from here, I also need to create a second asset. This is actually going to be our case study intake questions because we need to actually be able to give our custom GPT or chat GPT some more information about our project. I don't want it just making up random sort of fake case studies. I actually want to use real life stories for this. So I'm actually going to paste this second prompt in here, which says your job is to design a set of intake questions that I should answer before generating a case study with the above template. These questions will help me fill out the template consistently. So it's going to be able to ask us some questions. We can answer those questions and then it will generate the case study. And I'll show you how we can do that at hyperspeed as well in a bit. Now we've got these two bits. I'm going to open up a Google Doc so I can just grab and copy and paste these two bits into our Google Doc here so that we have it nice and ready to go. So just pop those in there. I've actually created two Google Docs here, one for the case study template and one for those intake questions. So next, we're going to jump over to custom GPTs. We're going to go hit this explore button under GPTs on the left here. That's going to open up the GPT area of chat GPT when we can actually start creating and we can hit this create button in the top right corner. Now, if you haven't used any custom GPTs before, then take a little time to get used to them. But essentially, you'll be dropped into this create window where you could just type in what you want to create and chat GPT would spin it up for you. But as you've seen, we're being a little bit more methodical in how we're building these so we get the same output each time with the certain prompts. So I actually like to go to the configure section here and we'll just put it um, SEO case study generator but of course name it relevant to you you could give a quick description generates seo case studies now instructions are obviously really important because they're going to explain how we want it to operate and what we want it to do so again in my mega prompt chest i've got that ready for you so we can go and grab the in case study gpt instructions they're not massive because we're not doing a massively complicated job here but we can paste them in again your case study gpt you will always begin by asking the intake questions which we just created and then do not generate a case study until the answer is required once you have the answers format the case study using the template we've built never invent details. Now I'm just going to go and actually download these Google Docs here into PDF format so that we can actually use them in our custom GPT in the next step. So I'll just download those two there and head back into the GPT. Now we want to move to this next section because we've got knowledge and this is where we want to add some more knowledge. We could even put 
uh, previous examples of case studies into the knowledge area to help us. But in this case, because we're starting afresh, we'll just put those two documents that we've created, the case study template and the intake questions. And then finally, we want to go to this conversation starters area and put something in there like I want to create a new case study that's going to be able to kick things off. And you'll see that shows up under the main title above the chat window in your custom GPT for people to use straight off the bat without having to try and even think up a prompt to start with. It's just going to get straight into the work. So we can actually create this GPT now. And you, when you're creating GPTs, you can select it. So only you can see it. Anyone with the link can actually use it, or you can actually put it in the GPT store for anyone out there to use. So once we hit save, it will publish the GPT and we'll be able to start using it. Now we're ready to create the bulk of our case study. We can hit this conversation starter that we just created and said, I want to create a new case study. And straight away, it's going into the intake questions that we specified. So you can go through here and just answer these questions. Now, the easiest way to do that, I find, is with the dictate button. You just hit the dictate button and you can talk through the whole case study and the whole project without even having to type a word because we don't want to have to sit and write all of this. We can quickly whiz through by speaking and answering the questions. So I can say something like the company name is XYZ Accounting. They're an accountancy firm that we did some SEO for. Um, they're in London and the company specializes in veterinary accounting. They didn't have any SEO coverage at all. They were getting zero traffic for their website. So you can see, I can just go through, talk all of this stuff in really, really quickly. And you get this dictation of your words translated into the bar, into the chat window here. I won't bore you with it all. So it could be two minutes to actually go and fill this in for myself. So I've done that and you'll see that you don't have to answer them one, two, three, four, five. I've just talked it all through in a long paragraph here with all my thoughts and results and everything from it. And we can then just hit the enter button and this custom GPT is going to go and format us and create us our lovely case study. So now we've got this written case study, we can actually take this, including the key takeaways at the bottom, and head over to Gamma AI. Now, Gamma AI is an awesome presentation and document and web page builder. And obviously, it's perfect for case studies. And you can see here, it's got a paste text area. So we can just, we've literally got our text generated. We can actually click paste text in here. Um, and start and start building our presentation. Now you can do it as a one page document, you can create a web page, or in this scenario, let's actually create a presentation as I showed you in my example. Um, you can pick your page style, default, traditional tool. Um, let's go for a 169 traditional. And one thing important at the bottom here is what you wanna do with this content. You could ask it to turn generate from a notes or an outline. You could ask it to summarize a long text or document, or we want to actually preserve this exact text because we've actually created it in the way that we want our text to be written. So we don't want Gamma hacking around in there, changing anything along the way. So then we can go continue to prompt editor. And now we can start doing a little bit more of the design. We can choose our output language. We can choose our theme. So you can see here, if you click view more, you've got all sorts of themes you can use in here. You know, there's dozens and dozens of different options in here that might suit your brand or not. We'll just stick with this. We'll select this theme for now. We can also go and choose what images we want. So you can use stock photos if you want it to pull something from somewhere like Unsplash for free. You could get it to use uh, images from around the web, but you run into copyright issues then. You can also generate AI images, which is what we're going to do in this. And what's cool is you can then select your image AI model from all the various different things out there. Um, we'll just leave it on auto select for this because I haven't tested every single image image integration into Gamma yet. And then we can choose our art style, illustration, photo, realistic, abstract, 3D. I quite like line art and 3D. I'm going to stick with line art and we can even add some extra keywords, bold, playful, organic, all that sort of thing. Again, um, I don't tend to mess with these too much. And then obviously we've already selected our format presentation, but if you wanted to change it, you could do. And then we're going to hit generate and it's going to start creating our final designed case study rather than just having a written one. We've got a nice title here with our results early on and it's actually generating those line images that we asked for. It's got the challenges and background, but actually rather than just hitting it up in bullet points, it's put different boxes in there. The solution is nicely laid out, easy to digest. And then we've got nice, big, bold results, which is cool, and our key takeaways. So it's not overly bloated. This is a nice, quick hit of a case study because honestly, who wants to sit and read 
super in-depth, like blow-by-blow case studies. I don't think a lot of people are actually going to read them unless you've done something really, really interesting and unique. Now, on this page, we can obviously start editing things. So we can actually click an image and we can actually ask the AI to edit the image, remove background, add subtle things in there, zoom in slightly. One thing I like as well is the ability to actually visualize as text. So we can actually select a piece of text and we can say visualize this text. So we can actually add more grabbing features to our page without actually having to do too much work itself. So you can see it sort of created us our four pyramids here, each sort of with each key fix pushed around the side of it, which is quite nice. Although I quite like the bigger but the, the bigger text, but we could add more sections as well. You can go down and add more cards, add more pages, um, add in images in there, add more basic block text. So if you want to go and like add stuff to this, add charts and diagrams in there, you can do that really easily as well, just by adding cards or adding to the cards. But honestly, they come out pretty nice as well. And then we're ready to go. We can either hit present mode and actually start presenting this if you're, I guess, talking it through on a call or something like that particularly good i guess if you're a student and you want to present back some sort of work or case study you're looking at or we can actually hit these three dots at the side we can publish it to a live url and we can just export so we can export to pdf powerpoint google slides and pngs or post direct directly to linkedin as well and once you're set up it's as easy as that in a few clicks you can have your custom gpt just ask you questions and you can use your voice to dictate back much quicker than typing get that text, put it into Gamma, and boom, you've got your presentation or your case study ready to go in like less than five minutes for sure.